Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, after a sudden change of plans and a couple days of driving, we have made it to Elkhart, Indiana. We, yeah, like she said, last minute plan. We were on our way south after the um, Badlands. Yeah. And we just decided, you know what? We're not done traveling yet. <laughs> we're here for the Lux Rally. So we're excited about it. Um, we're hoping to bring mm -hmm. you some great footage of some beautiful fifth wheels this week. Yeah. We, um, <clears throat> one of the main reasons why we got here, we want to look at the 48 foot Lux toy hauler. It's got the side patio and the patio off the back naturally. And a really nice floor plan. <clears throat> yeah. Very, very livable if you're full time. So, um, but let me rephrase that. We want to look. Yeah, that's it. No cash is getting shelled out yet. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in our research phase. Yeah. So, but there's going to be factory tours. The RV Hall of Fame is nearby. Um, we're of course in Amish country. Um, it should be a neat week. Should be. Yeah. So we're going to go register now, and have pizza. Yeah. So. We'll catch you guys later. We got to go. Oh, hey guys. Day two of the Lux Rally. Yeah. And uh, ooh, they fed us lunch today and it was good. And I got dinner for tonight. Yeah. Yeah, they brought in takeout boxes and I think everybody got leftovers to take home. I know I did. Mm -hmm. This morning, they had two seminars. Aaron from Jones Into Travel, he put on the Protang fire suppression. Mm -hmm. And Moride came in and did one on, it's all about suspensions. Bearings, tire inflation. Good information on maintenance. Yeah, good information. So now the Lux factory, they've brought in two show units and they have them on display and we're gonna go walk through them. Yeah. And of yeah. course, we'll take you guys along. Yeah, so we'll see you there. I really like this in the basement. They have this door that you can open and you can get to all of your stuff up under there, electrical, plumbing. Um, ours, you have to take the wall out. You have to empty your basement and then unscrew the wall and take the wall out. So this is nice having this door. Makes it really easy access. It's lighted under there so you can see what's going on. Pretty sweet. The center island in this, uh, this is the 39 FB, and the center island in the kitchen is huge. Tons of storage in it, tons of counter space, huge, deep double basin sink, cabinets over the couch, cabinets over the dinette, and the recliners. Again, really, really nice use of space with everything in here and tons and tons of storage. Even the little spice rack on the side of the stove where they made use of that little bit of space. Everything's used. What I like about this bedroom is not only do they have a ton of storage oh, yeah. underneath the television in a separate small slide, but over the bed, there's storage over the bed. There's individual reading lights that you can turn off one at, on and off one at a time. That's something I wish ours had. Ours, they either both are on or both are off. So I like that having the individual switches. Plenty of room on the side of the bed to get around it and make the bed so you're not doing gymnastics trying to get your bed made. And they put the end table 
at the end of the slide so it's not overhanging your mattress and uh, I like that a lot. Ours, they made our end table where it overhangs the mattress and then it makes the bed just a pain to make. So I like it when they think about that and they put it out at the end of the slide and it's not impeding your mattress at all. Pretty nice. Okay, the bathroom in this one is beautiful. You have a single vanity with accent lighting, big medicine cabinet, lots of storage underneath, stacked washer and dryer, linen closet across from that, and then a huge closet with a chest of drawers in it. So there is just a ton of usable space up here. Super comfortable, lots of room. This is really beautiful. So a few things we're noticing about the Lux that's really nice. One of them is the space. Most of the closets and drawers and so forth, especially if they're in a slide, in most RVs we've seen, they tend to be somewhat shallow in depth. Everything in here is super deep cabinetry. Tons of room and there's cabinets everywhere. Everywhere they can fit cabinets, they have them. So really maximizing the storage space. Um, they have these soft touch walls. They're padded, so not only does it give it a really nice finished look, um, but it dampens the noise, so you don't get the echo inside like you do with a lot of big RVs. And the ceiling is also soft touch, and so the whole thing, it just dampens the sound, makes for a really nice atmosphere inside. They have the dual day night shades that are nice. This particular brand, they use uh, no, three and a half inch walls. We're going to do a factory tour here uh, in a couple of days. So we'll know more about the construction of them once we do that. But um, really solidly built, beautifully put together. Everything is done so nicely. Solid wood, not the veneer stuff. Um, really impressive. So this is the 42 FB and oh my gosh, is this a gorgeous, gorgeous unit. The bedroom in this is huge and the two slides are nothing but storage. Plus they have a massive walk through bathroom. Um, it's a unique design. I don't think I've ever seen one designed quite like this one and it really works. It's, it's just, it's beautiful and it's roomy, tons of room.
like it, babe. No. <laughs> Oh, we're here at tonight's um, potluck. It's probably pretty loud in the background because I know the microphone picks up the noise more. But yeah, we're here at the potluck and it looks like there's a ton of good food. Got, got questionable table mates here. <laughs> Hi. We're just here for the food. I think that's what we're all here for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm here for the girls. <laughs> I'm, I'm not touching that one. Anyways, we just need Roger to go ahead and uh, say the blessing and give us the go ahead and we'll be ready to eat. Thank you for the wonderful time we've spent here together. Thank you for everything that we have been able to do together, the wonderful time we had together. Thank you for the friendships that we all developed here. And Lord, thank you so much for the food that we're about to consume. Thank you, Lord, for all the wonderful gifts in our life. Keep us safe as we go our respective ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, we went, we saw, we're gone. Bye. <laughs> so we're going to wrap up this week with what we just showed you so far from the rally next week is going to be all about how they're built we have a cabinet factory tour with the amish the lux factory tour and some uh more views inside these beautiful rvs yep. but and the cabinet factory what's this what is this we have a rowdy dog a here. climber here <laughs> a climber the cabinet place. Very, very interesting. Yeah. I'm going to say one thing clean. Yes. All the sawdust going on, clean. Yeah. It's very nice. It was a very cool, very cool to see how they did stuff like that. I mean, but yeah, I mean, yes, it's, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And very generous people. But anyway. One thing we've found out so far, and we were nervous. Coming to this, we're not Lux owners. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> and, uh, no. no. Um, and we were, we, you know, we were. We'll see who wins this. Oh, I know who's going to win this one. <laughs> but we were, you, we were nervous because we're not, we're not Lux owners and we weren't sure how well we'd be received. And, and this is just another one of those experiences that just highlights how awesome the RV community is because they have welcomed us with open arms and they're so willing to share their rigs and their experiences with them, what's gone right, what's gone wrong. If you are interested in any you know, whatever RV you're interested in, it, I think it pays to go to a rally of owners of that particular RV because you really do find out all the ins and outs and good and bad about them. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so far it has just been an, an awesome experience. Um, definitely have a little bit of trailer envy going on with all these big beautiful rigs sitting there yeah yep yep and, and people are just they're nice for crying out loud people are just, they're freaking nice people mm -hmm. i don't i can go to a picnic and go i'm not really into that dude i, I wish but you go to these places i don't know if it's because we're all the same or what, but yeah, yeah, got, ain't got one bad thing to say about anybody. Uh -uh. 
No, and it's been fun. I mean, they've we didn't film. There was an open house, and we didn't film the open house because we didn't want to intrude on people's private space. Yeah. But it was a neat opportunity to see other people's their floor plans, to see how they've decorated them, to see things that they've done to modify them to make them suit their purposes. Um, walking away, I mean, just your mind's just going crazy because you walk away with tons of ideas. Yeah. You come into your house and you go, why didn't I think of that? Right? (laughs) (laughs) And that's one of the things, we'll get into this more next week, but that's one of the neat things with these Lux RVs is they will do a lot of customization to make them fit your needs. And that's one of the reasons why they're worth the money they charge for them. Yeah. So that's it for this week. Again, next week, all about how they're made. We also are going to do lunch at an Amish restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we get hit by a big storm. So we have a lot of stuff coming up in our next video. Holy crap, that storm was gnarly. I'm glad we didn't have the the car out in it. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) All I got to say is, (gasps) (laughs) we'd be going down in the drain. The smart car would have needed a snorkel. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it was gnarly. I was, oh yeah. Look, we were with some friends in their F450, so we were good. But yeah, it was crazy. So we'll have all that to show you in our next one. And until then. Yeah, if we, if we would have drove by a storm drain, we would have been just sucked right in. Because it was running hard. <laughs> We'll see you guys next week. (laughs) Have a blessed week. Bye.